So, so here I am working on something. Hmm, working on something. I made one hole. I gotta make another hole next to it. Hmm, what am I working on now? I never, for some stupid reason, I thought you'll never drill into a bolt. The bolt's too hard. But anyway, I'm working on something. I am very, very, very late to the party as usual. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, see if I can drill into a big bolt. And you never thought, do you, what, what made you think it was going to be uh, anything other than a bolt? So mm, I don't know if I'm going to put this film on first as a teaser or on afterwards as a, this is how I did it. Anyway, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? And will I be successful? That's the question. Reggie, you idiot, you idiot. What have you gone and done? You've snapped the drill in the hole. Oh, shall I just start again? Or shall I give it more abuse and try and get that out? Reggie, you're nothing but an idiot. You fool. You've snapped the drill in the hole, trying to make three holes into one hole. Uh, and you've snapped it, you Reggie, you idiot, you bloody idiot. Damn, damn, damn. So I was trying to make a nice thin narrow slot that would just go down there. Three holes next door to each other would have been just fine. Hmm, if you can hear a noise, if you can hear a noise, it's that loud out there. Going bananas. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I was going to drill a slot. Mm, but I don't know if you can see, but at the very hole, the very bottom of the three holes has become one hole. I managed to get the drill out. It's become one hole and mm, uh, that's not good. So I'm going to chicken out and drill one big mother of a hole and then put whatever I want to put in there. Hmm, yeah. Reggie's butchering um, expertise has come alive. Never give up, never, never give up. Because if I, dr if I, I've got to go quite a depth and if I break a drill going down that depth, the job is over. Hmm, so what I'm going to do now is just be one big old yeah, hmm, let's see what we can do. So, I've got around the problem. I've just drilled a bloody big hole. <laughs> but what I'm putting in there is a step. So anyway, I've got the depth. The depth isn't a problem. But what I'm putting in there has a slight step. So I'm gonna have to get a bigger hole and come in probably about that far with the bigger hole so that it'll go in there. Hmm. Hmm. And then I'm wondering, am I brave enough to put two holes, one there, one there? Hmm. Anyway, anyway, can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> I'm sure you can all guess what it is yet. But them that don't know, we'll have to wait and find out, won't they? So I've done the one hole. There's plenty of depth on it. Um, that'll be fine. Um, need a depth on that. So, uh, this next one I'm going to have to, because there's a slight step, I'm going to have to drill this one down just enough to cover the step so it fits flush. Mmm. Can you uh, guess what it is yet? Can you guess what it's going to be yet? Mmm. <laughs> So I'm going to have to reveal to you what I am doing um, I, because uh, I just want to show you that I'm not cheating <laughs> sort of thing. This is the Scout Crafter, the, the Echo Knife Stainless Steel Wavy Edge Blade Challenge. Mm. So just so that you don't think I'm cheating and I've just stuck it on the end, 
I have drilled a hole, look. And it went that far. And then there was a, see the edge? So that's gone in there too. So that's where it's going to be. And um, I intend um, aralditing, aralditing it in, uh, in there. So it fits flush, you know what I mean? Fits flush there. And there is the, um, there is the step. You see the step I've created? inside there like a pilot hole and in through there hmm so when i've got it done i'll make you another one but uh uh thank you very much cow crafter thank you thank you thank you very much indeed for the opportunity and um you, you know i'm an individual don't you you know it was never going to be anything else was it uh it's my way or it's no effing way <laughs> So I'll finish it off and I'll put one more video in. Hmm, yeah. So thank you, thank you very much. Uh, as always, I am late to the party. Hmm. But uh, hey, look. Pretty, it's pretty straight, isn't it? Pretty straight for me. Hmm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really quite pleased. Yeah, and it's sort of in the middle. Well, in the middle is... As near as damn it the middle, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, you didn't think it was going to be anything different, did you? Ah. So, here we are. So, uh, here comes the tricky bit. Mm, here comes the tricky bit. Um, I want to secure the blade. If you just put glue in, it might twist. So, I've got, um, I've got the, the little brass screw that's going to do the job. So, we have to put this in here the blade in there we've got the we've got the measurement we've got the distance from uh, the edge we've got the distance from the edge there to where the hole has to be so we put this in here um, and then we put that on that on there and then we rotate the bolt until we get to the place where I can start my first hole easily so if I leave it there, mark that, that's where I'll start my first hole. Then I'll measure my second hole. And then hopefully it'll go through and it'll catch them there, look. Yeah, that's going to be about there. So, hmm, probably about there. Hmm, let's get the first one in first. I might have to come at the other one from the other side. Hmm, one, how many threads in? Hmm, I'll have to remeasure that. But um, yeah, that's the next tricky one that I'm going to have to mess about with. I'm going to have to try and um, get these, drill a hole, put them in, cut off the ends, bash them in. And then I don't know whether I'm going to pass, bash them past. See, I don't know whether to grind a flat bit off and then fit them in or just drill the hole where it lands uh, and then bash it flat and let the bash it deeper so the head only comes out underneath. And so I won't need to mess with the crossing or m messing with the thread here. Mm, we'll see how we get on, see what it looks like. So anyway, that's the next, uh, that's the next little uh, technical bit. So here we are. We are at the hole. Um, the hole's pretty good. The bolts go through, no problem. That goes through there, comes out the other side. So we know that hole is correct. Um, when we put the first hole in, you can see this one is spot on there, but it wants to go back, doesn't it? That's that hole, we can control that. But when you go back all the way, the hole is about a quarter of a hole out. And I don't really want to start, see? It's just about a quarter of a hole out. So. I don't really want to start um, molesting this hole 
Um, and I don't really want to drill through there and go up and round a bit because it might thin it and break it. So what I'm going to do, and what stops it from going in a bit further, is, um, is that edge. Is that edge there? Can you see it? Is that edge there? Well, okay, you could grind this away, but I think it would spoil the edge. This has been made as one to spoil the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bigger drill and just put a, a little bit of a, like a countersink in there, which will then create, it will then create the wiggle room and go in and out a little bit more, which will then hit, bring that hole around. So then I know that one is 100% going through there. Um, and I haven't made a mess of this with a grinder and I haven't moved the hole by drilling it again with this in place and maybe stretching that. So I know that one will be completely accurate. So I can afford to maybe enlarge or move this hole as I go through. Yeah, so that's the plan anyway, that's the plan. So what I'm doing here is I've pushed that um, brass uh, thread through, it's gone through. So you see it's sitting in the thread. So what I'm doing, I've got a chisel upside down in a vise. I'm putting the the bottom end of the um, of the thread in on top of the chisel, and then I'm hammering this top end back in. So it's deforming itself back inside the hole, almost like a rivet. And then I'll clean this all up once I've uh, established this well and jammed in in there. Hmm. So that's how I'm going to deal with that. Lovely jubbly. And you see, I put a bit of a countersink on the end of it. I don't know if you can see it, just so that it sits in, gave it room to go. Hmm. Lovely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and Scrout Crafter, may I present to you my uh, answer to uh, the Scout Crafter challenge? Hmm. <laughs> I present to you the Eco Echo Echo Stainless Steel Wavy Edge Blade. Hmm. Now, he, he sent me a blade via uh, kindly through um, Tool Addict and uh, I thought, what the hell am I going to do with that? How am I going to deal with that? Well, you know when Tool Addict put his uh, wrench on the end of his, that that solved it for me. That, that, uh, I was always thinking of a way, but that solved it. That, that made my mind up. Um, but what's caused the delay is uh, for some stupid reason, I somehow thought that you couldn't drill into a big bolt like this. So I was looking for a, an aluminium one. Um, I was thinking, well, they must, they must make one that big to bolt these air wing aeroplanes. And I was asking everyone and chasing and looking and I didn't proceed and I've been quite busy. And yes, I was a bit lazy, so. I didn't get to it. Well, anyway, then I decided this weekend, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to drill into it and see what happens. And it was as easy as pie. They're quite easy to drill into well with the drills I've got anyway. I don't think they're anything special. They're just ordinary steel drills anyway. So obviously, uh, if you're watching this, you're watching Reggie on the road and you're seeing that um, how I proceeded. I've tried to give you a full full uh so let's do the unveiling dun 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 <laughs> tool addict you gave me ben tool addict you gave me the confidence to put the bolt on be yourself was it ever going to be anything less than a bolt on the end of it i don't think so you don't know me very well, do you? You knew it was going to be a bolt. Look at that. 
pretty good in it hey pretty good yeah an echo vanadium stainless steel blade made in the usa thank you very much scout crafter for sending that to me uh you're in my little black book now yeah you're in my little black book i'm gonna have to find something to to sort of um find something in bulk and send it to everyone yeah so anyway you're in my little books but uh yeah that is reggie's challenge completed oh and I, I bought the flits the flits have brought this up lovely i did a bit of ultrasol on it and cleaned it up and got the filth off it and then it's quite shiny i used the flits on it and the flits is is cracking stuff that flits and half put a shine it brings a shine out of nowhere on it hmm so anyway, may I present the, uh, and I haven't cheated. And yes, I know you said you wanted me to weld it or you were waiting for me to weld it, but welding stainless steel, that would have been a nightmare. So I better put it back in safety. Uh, always keep, always try and keep a protection or, you know, safety on your blade in case you, you fall on it or whatever. So, mmm, that is my Echo, Eco, stainless steel knife blade challenge completed for um, John, for Scout Crafter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much indeed for giving me the opportunity to show you how much of a butcher I am. <laughs> thank you, boys. Thank you. And thank you, Ben, for being a middleman. Thank you, thank you very much. So, I know you've spotted it, and I know I didn't mention it, but I like to show you everything in full. I've done a bit of a cock-up, actually, because you know that was in the hole, and you know the brass is, you know, the copper bolt is hidden under there. And I used, um, I used insulation tape, and I masked this up. But the trouble was, the bleeding bottom of the... I put it too low and the bottom of that has gone in. I used, what did I use? I used Gator, Gator Gorilla, what did I use? Gorilla, Gorilla Glue, yeah. That's what I used. I went to the shop and I thought, hmm, I saw this putty stuff and I saw this Gorilla Glue, which is Araldite, really good stuff. That was all right. I was going, I was tempted to use that, but, um, I didn't think I could have stuffed it down into the hole because that hole's quite deep. And with this being a liquid, I thought that would be a better job. So what I did is I, um, what have I done? I've got it here, look. I mixed it. I used the, the pad that they supply with you. I used the card and it was quite liquidy. And I uh, kept shoving it in there, shoving it in there, shoving it in there. Well, what's caused the problem is there was air i was trying to get the air out and the glue in and it seemed to do a fairly decent job on that bit there but the air bubbles have come up look and it's created so i wanted a i wanted a um a better finish on that and the bleeding the, the, the bleeding uh uh, insulating tape that I used to mask and keep this clean has got trapped under there so anyway I, I'm not too worried so that's done the trick I've poured that down the hole mixed it up mixed it up poured it down the hole so that's done what I wanted to do so what I'm thinking of doing now I've not used this before uh, but it's it's some sort of a some sort of a putty and turns into steel or something so I'm gonna do that warm that up and, and put that on except i just wanted it done this weekend out the way so i knew i knew you would have spotted it and i knew you were thinking in your head reggie what the hell is that red stuff and what it is the insulating tape that i uh, used to mask this bottom off so that the glue didn't affect it went too low and it's now in <laughs> it's stuck in the glue yeah damn damn because when i did it 
the glue was all on here and I let it settle in and then I filed it off but I didn't want to scratch at the same time I didn't want to really scratch the side of that to get it out too much so my plan now is to use this if it's it's some sort of putty or something and it, it goes hard so I'm going to put some sort of a warm that up in my hand make it into a putty put some sort of a cap on that and hope it sticks and hides that away hmm so you know I like to um show you in depth how uh in everything see little air bubble came up popped up hmm